Yeah. Brad, congratulations on the hard-fought victory. Uh, what are your initial thoughts after hearing those scorecards uh, when they were reading? I mean, it was it was a tough fight. I would have gave them the first round just because I, I couldn't get established. The takedown or downs, I feel like I stuffed them pretty well, got back up. But uh, I definitely feel like I won the second and a third. Um, so to hear split decision, I was shocked. Um, made me feel a little better that when they announced that, seeing Joe's face and also kind of shocked, like, huh? He's looking at me. Oh, and I thought for sure I was about to get ripped off. But they got it right, so can't complain. I'm happy. The leg kicks, I think a lot of people uh, said was a big factor in this fight. Was that the game plan going in, or did you just land a few, knew you could take advantage of it, and just that's what you went with the whole fight? No, nah, uh, definitely. He, uh, I watched tape on him. My team and I, we watched tape. Uh, heavy lead leg, uh, throws up loopy power shots. So definitely wanted to establish the leg kicks, um, but wanted to faint him out a little. I knew he was uh, probably gonna try and time one and take me down. So yeah, part of the game plan for sure. The knockdown in the first round uh, that he scored, was that a knockdown or did you just fall? Nah, he, I was just telling him that after, after the fight, I was like, that, that was kind of like irritating to me just because, so the, he, he's a big strong guy and he throws with his whole body behind him. So it's not so much that his shots were like really heavy, but more so his, the weight of his body is behind him. So a lot of times when he would land, it was like pushing me off balance. But at no point was I hurt. It more just pushed me off balance and like pushed me to the ground. You clearly did a game plan to perfect. You did your homework. Did anything in there surprise you that you weren't expecting from your preparation? Uh, I wouldn't say it surprised me. It just in the first round took me a little longer than I anticipated, than I suspected. Um, then I wanted to I rhythm going and tap into his. And uh, return to the crowd, uh, crowds. I know you didn't fight in any of the Apex cards. You've been on a lot of big cards in the past, but how does the crowd today com feel compared to crowds in the past? Uh, it, it was electric. You know, it started off yesterday, to be honest, at the weigh-ins, walking out onto that stage and all of those fans, that that was something else. You know, that, that I really carried that energy from yesterday. Um, and uh, I had a lot of family here in the crowd, so I, I could feel their energy and nothing like a Vegas crowd, you know. And finally, uh, when do you want to return? Uh, and if so, do you have a specific name or date you would like for your next fight? Um, I haven't really thought about it yet. I was looking just fight to fight. So I'll go sit down with my team after this, assess everything, and we'll come up with something from there. Right. right. Uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Oh, I think that your takedown defense is something that's a little bit underappreciated. You continue to show it off here. You've got plenty of great wrestlers. Yo Romero comes to mind. Uh, how, how do you kind of compare Omari's wrestling to well, the other guys? Um, he, you know, a lot of people ask me about uh, my last fight leading up into this fight, and I had said they're very similar stylistically as far as what I believe they're going to try and do to me, take me down. Uh, Grant, he's much better ground guy, um, decorated Brazilian just with black belt. And I think Omari is a better wrestler, which he showed, you know, he was able to get me at least to my butt for a little bit, but wasn't able to secure that. Um, when it comes to going to Yo Romero, honestly, that's the better I've ever faced in competition, in training. Um, that guy was a, a step like, like it, it was weird. Like I, I'm pretty confident in my wrestling, and when I fought Romero, you know, I, like I was like, damn, this guy is a. I've never felt this before. Great wrestler. And uh, you know, you are actually top three now, number three in most middleweight wins in the UFC behind Bisping, and I think Silva was the other one. So what's that mean to you, man? Oh, uh, it, it's 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 awesome to be tied for something with the the, the goat of the division, you know, um, and also Michael Bisping. I think I'm a win behind him, so. I'll definitely pass them. Uh, it, it feels good, you know, to be up there with guy, uh, guys who help build this division, who help build the UFC. To be right up there with them is, I don't know, I'm very humbled by it. Congrats, Brad. Thank you. Do you think this is going to propel you? Uh, he was ranked 13th in the UFC and you were 15th. Do you think that you guys at least should swap positions at least and what do you think it's going to take to break into that top 10 uh i think though after this fight the man yeah, number two just because 15 minus 13 is two so it makes math. sense to me yeah. i mean i don't see why not but not yeah i'm sure we'll swap places um and it, it's just i just got to keep fight in front of me yeah.
whoever that next opponent is. Talk a little bit just about the state of the division. Do you feel like the, the, the division is one of the best that the UFC has right now in terms of talent and the, and the fighters that are out there performing? I, I, I definitely think it is. If you look at all the guys in the top of the division, um, just the top 15 even, you know, they're all in there. Um, and, and, and the guy who's sitting at the top, Israel, you know, nobody's figured him out yet. Uh, very excited to watch him and Wicker go at it again. I think it's going to be a good fight, um, fun fight. So, uh, yeah, I definitely think that right now our division is one of the best in the U. Who do you think is going to take that? Um, you know what? The first time around, I I felt like Whitaker would do better than he did. I had a feeling that, that Izzy would take it, but I, I was kind of on the fence. Um, I kind of feel the same. I feel like Whitaker will make the adjustments, but man, it, Israel's just been a puzzle to solve, you know? Um, brings so much to the table, so I'm just expecting a really good fight. And last for me, I, I think I've heard your uh, your celebration plans for tonight. Are you getting ready to head over to see that Garth Brooks now? Yeah, I, I, the, la the last kick in the fight, I threw like a spinning kick, hit him weird. It hurt my foot a little bit, nothing crazy. Like a little sore foot right now, so I'm trying to just walk, but with as long as I can walk, yeah, I'm gonna head over to Allegiant Stadium, enjoy some country music. Have fun tonight. Thank you.